Wait, is that guy flying a superbike? At 124 miles per hour, with no wings, no rotors, and no roof? Yep. Welcome to the Volanot Airbike, the most insane real-world sci-fi ride you've never heard of, until now. Meet the Volanot Airbike, a real-life flying superbike that just took off for the very first time. And when I say, took off, I mean literally launched into the sky with nothing but jet power and a dream. Oh, and it goes 124 miles per hour. This beast wasn't built in some flashy Silicon Valley lab. Nope. It's the brainchild of Tomasz Patan, the same guy who gave us the Jetson 1. But this time, he cranked the dial to wild and vanished into stealth mode to cook up something even crazier. Unlike the Jetson, which kind of felt like sitting in a flying go-kart, the airbike is raw. It's open air. No cockpit, no cage. Just you, the sky, and a machine that looks like a speeder bike got jealous of a fighter jet. And here's where it gets cooler. There are no spinning propellers around you. None. Which means no blender of doom sounds and no worries about clipping branches. It's designed to glide through tight spaces, weaving between trees and cliffs like it's playing tag with gravity. You don't sit back and lounge like in those bulky EVTOLS. You lean forward, motorcycle style, hug the controls, and become part of the machine. And that's the whole vibe. Freedom. You're not just flying, you're riding the air. What makes this possible? Two things. First, it's seven times lighter than your average superbike. That's thanks to a combo of carbon fiber, three D printed parts, and a design stripped down to the essentials. No extra fluff, just pure flight. Second, it's got a proprietary stabilization system baked in. That means it can hover in place like a drone, thanks to a smart flight computer keeping everything balanced. No pilot license, no problem. This thing helps you float steady without needing Jedi reflexes. The rear lights even kick on when it slows down, not for traffic jams obviously, but to signal nearby flyers, because yes, the future might be crowded up there. So what's the catch? For starters, no price tag yet, Volanot's keeping quiet on how much it'll cost or when we can get our hands on one. But seeing this prototype already in the sky, buzzing over forests and dry lake beds, feels like step one in a whole new era of personal air travel. To be honest, it may not have the flashy curves of other hover bikes like X Turismo or the Razor Flying Motorcycle, but here's the twist. This one actually flew, and not in a demo video, I'm talking real world air, real pilot, real flight. Look, we've seen loads of flying bike concepts before, but the Volanot air bike, this thing just quietly did it. No overhype, no kickstarter drama, just a dude, a helmet and a flying superbike with jet engines strapped under the seat. It's like the speeder bike from Return of the Jedi, only you don't need a movie set to ride it. The future just got a lot louder, a lot faster, and a lot more fun. So what do you think? Would you fly one of these? Or does the open air design give you instant face full of bugs vibes? Drop your thoughts below. And if you love this sneak peek into the future, hit that like button like it's the throttle on a jet bike. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe for more tech that feels too wild to be real, until it is.